when I saw this, I was like, <gasps> wait a minute, old style. And welcome to the beer garden that doubles as a wind tunnel today in front of the fireless pits. And let's ring the bell if you're here because you like beer. And let's be honest, why else would you be here? Please tap that subscribe button down below because it helps with the algorithm and it helps with my low self-esteem because I crave the attention of strangers on the internet. And I thank you for that. Hey, town and state or town and country where you're viewing from, I love to see where my viewers are from all around the world, including Doha, Qatar, or Doha, Qatar. Is it Qatar or Qatar? Doha in the house. Good to hear from you. Spring Hill, Tennessee. We're going down under again to Launceston, Tasmania, Australia. And uh, Chicago, Illinois, back here in the United States. Good to have you aboard. We will be uh, sampling out of the green label for 2024 sold out beer snobs, cheap brew review, pint glass to be complimented by the green label Richardson's leather patch painted trucker cap. And I mentioned Chicago, Illinois, and it just happens to be a coincidence, really, that up this round is old style lager, classic lager, established in 1902, Heilman's Pure Genuine Old Style. I've never had this before. I only vaguely have heard of it, but when I was at the package store last night looking for a beer to do for the brew review, I saw this and it was like being at uh, a yard sale or some type of uh, antiques store. When I saw this, I was like, <gasps> wait a minute, old style? Heilman's uh, apparently a huge favorite in Chicago, Illinois. I've, I've never been to Chicago, but it is actually brewed in Wisconsin, La Crosse, Wisconsin. It's been passed around sort of like a, a, a wild girl at a party a few times. Um, Pabst had their hand in there for a little bit. I believe Stroh's had uh, their hand in it, and it's gone around and around and around. But from what I'm told, uh, it is back in La Crosse, Wisconsin, to where it's been brewed, the old style. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and pop the top, see what we got. Uh, if you're a fan of old style, uh, let me know what you think about it. Time for the pour in the green label for 2024, a Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review pint glass. I'm not expecting much from this. Any, any beer that says old style on it that looks like a can that came from 1972 and has been handed around between Stroh's and Pabst. I, I, the bar is very low, all right? I'm not expecting a whole lot uh, from this. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there's your typical sort of uh, old school grandpa beer type of a look with a, with a soapy, foamy, bubbly head. Uh, old Style has been uh, known for a certain brewing process to where it's uh, more fizzy and more bubbly. I'm not exactly sure why you would want that in your brew, but apparently it's a, sort of a signature trademark. Uh, they don't use that brewing process anymore when they reestablish themselves in La Crosse, Wisconsin. I don't know. I've never had it before, so you don't know what you're missing if you've never had it. Uh, time for the nose, shall we? A nose. Old style lager. Uh, six pack of Tall Boys got it for $7.99. I'm straining to pull any bit of nose out of the old style. Uh, an American adjunct lager. I'm sensing a little bit of that junk, the adjunct that they put in there from America's Midwest. Uh, corn, I guess, is in there. Uh, no real sense of uh, or smell or odor of quality, and uh, the head is almost completely dissipated. Just look at the look at the effervescent. Here in the beer garden, if you're new, you never drink alone. It says the glass on it, so it's time for the liquid to hit the lips. Go ahead and grab yourself a brew. And, uh, and let's go, let's give this thing a taste. Old style, 4.8% ABV, cheers. That is old school, 
old style for sure. Pretty much, this is another one of those beers that taste like the can looks. Uh, really, truth in advertising, pure, genuine, old style. <clears throat> old world methods, choicest hops. I hate it when beers say that, you know, choicest hops or uh, choice ingredients. It, or aren't they all? You, you just choose what to put in it. So I don't even know why they waste the ink printing that, but uh, the taste, the taste. Uh, I like uh, coming up in just a second. I'm going to rate out of five stars. How good a cheap brew is old style. Um, it tastes cheap. It tastes old school. It tastes old style. If you like hams, uh, I'm putting it up there. It's been a long time since I've had Stroh's. It's right in there, Pabst. Uh, very, very old school. Maybe a little bit of a Miller High Life in there. As some have uh, said that old style is similar to the PBR. Yeah. Yeah, well, again, with Pabst. So, yeah, sure. So, I would, if you love that old school grandpa beer, uh, you know, garage refrigerator um, type of brew, if you can find it, Old style, like I said, I've never seen this beer until last night at the package store. I've never seen it uh, anywhere I've lived, and I've never been to Chicago. So uh, if you're out there in the Midwest, uh, you may have it all over the place. I don't know. It kind of uh, reminds me of my grandfather a little bit, who used to drink uh, a, a lot of beer and kind of cheap beers, like grandpa type of beer. It smells like grandpa. Uh, with that said, $7.99 for a six pack of tall boys. Uh, you're drinking a little bit of history here. You're drinking a little bit of American uh, Midwest culture. Uh, so uh, you, you may be into that. That's a, a lot of people ask me, you know, what do I like about beer? And really, for me, it's about the culture. It's about the history. I, I like that. I like regional beers. Whenever I travel to different countries, I try to drink the local. So uh, if you want to see what it's like in the Midwest and Chicago land and Wisconsin, Minnesota area. Uh, see if you can pick up, uh, grab some old style, pure, genuine Heilman's old style. So there you go. So out of five stars, you're not reinventing the wheel at all. This is a wagon wheel beer. It's it's a wheel. It's basic. It's is what it says. So out of five stars, not awful, uh, not awesome, uh, but I'm gonna have to put you down for a 3.01 out of five stars. So there you go. Um, let me know what you think about old style. Uh, in the meantime, town and state or town and country where you are viewing from, uh, please let me know. I'd love to hear uh, where you are watching from. And, in the, and right after this video, uh, check out some more of my over 200 brew reviews on the channel. I would appreciate your sub and support. And it's a beautiful windy day here in the beer garden in front of the fireless pit. And so you grab yourself a brew and you drink that brew. I'll see you in the next brew review. Cheers.